Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video. I know it's been a minute, but you know, I've been trying to make this mix tutorial, you know, for y'all. I wanted to make it easy, not as complex, but um, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all the beat preview. First off, I want to promote my kit, you know. I have, been, I have a multi kit, you know. A lot of people have been DMing me about it. But if y'all want this, it's free. And it has like a lot of the sounds that I use in here. I have this drum kit and I have this drum kit. This drum kit, you can DM me too. It's on my YouTube too, but you can still DM me. I'll send it to you. This isn't really, I don't really like that one compared to this one. <laughs> this one's like my favorite, at least. It has midis, loops, you know. Nothing too crazy, nothing too special, but you know, that's just what I used in this kit. You haven't asked me for this mixing tutorial for like a few months, so I mean, I wanted to give it to y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all how to mix, or at least how I mix my beats. All right, first, I started off with this pad. I used the one shot, so for one shots, what I do for one shots, I come over here, turn this crossfade on, keep this on for user points, because this is like, if you don't have this on your uh one shot is not going to continue like a real vst you know a real vst they continue and they don't stop this is gonna it's gonna make your sound continue and the crossfade is gonna help too so if you have your crossfade like this user point is not gonna work and it's just gonna stop your sound it's gonna sound faded and the sound's not gonna sound full and it's gonna keep stopping so you want to keep that on come over here turn the envelope on turn the hold up turn this down and don't touch anything else and for my melodies i put it in the channel bus but i'm gonna explain that in a little bit so this is what the sound sounds like without any effects That's what it sounds like without effects. You know, I didn't want to do, do nothing too crazy. For my pads, I usually put a bass. That's just me because I want to make my melody more cool. Since I had like I had a bass pads and uh like the threes, I wanted to boost those out a little bit, take those out a little bit, and I took out some low mids and some some mids, and then I put a little reverb on it because. You know, pads, they don't really need too much reverb because they're pads and they're already an ambient sound. I just wanted to make it a little bit more ambient. But um, I also threw halftime on it. I'm going to play y'all what it sounds like with the like with the EQ and reverb without the halftime. So it sounds like. Okay, yeah, that's what it sounds like without the halftime. This sounds like with. That's just all like with halftime. So next, I use Warp here, the piano, but uh, I just turned the velocity up and cause I wanted to hit, like I wanted to hit like a real piano. Cause when it's like down here, it likes, it doesn't really like hit how I want it to. So I just, you know, for pianos, I just put it on th the twos and the three. This is literally what I do, put the nose down, the nose down, copy them, bring them up octave. That's to do what I do. But, uh, yeah, that's what it sounds like. Next, you know, I have the main sound for the main sounds. Um, those should be like the loudest thing in your melody. That's like one of the key sounds to your melody. So that should be like above every other pad, synth, depending on what your main melody or what your main focus is in the melody, that should be the loudest thing in your melody. Where it's hearable, but it's not like blasting through your headphones. But this is what it sounds like without any effects.
Yeah, yeah, that's basically what I did for the uh, main, me main melody, you know. I just threw on some Portal EQ or Reverb, none too special. But um, Valhalla Reverb, I use Valhalla this time because versus any other plugin, this makes your melody sound more ambient and more spacey. But I just took out some, some mids, nothing really too crazy. Now this sound, all I put is just two different reverbs and an EQ. I'm play it without the sounds. This just sounds like. Okay, that's what it sounds like without. So for the EQ, I took out like all the lows because like it kind of sounds like a bass. But it's really a synth. This is a hard synth, so I took it out, took out the bass and the low end, and I put this. I have two different reverbs because Crystal Mine it makes your beats more like sparkly and like more crystal-like, hence Crystal Mine. <laughs> and then I put Valhalla Ventures Verd, make it more spacey because it sounds like a bass. I wanted to make it sound like a, like a real synth kinda. But this sounds like with everything. Yeah, that's it for that sound. Hey, Cuba. Next, up, I have this bass. You know, this don't forget one. when you're using more shots, use this crossfade and this trim. Keep this on. But for my bass, just like the 808, turn the envelope on. Turn all these off. Keep this on and then turn the, th the hold all the way up. This is gonna make your your bass last longer and like sustain its sound. Continue. But this is the bass sounds like. Yeah, that's basically it for that. But um Eddie made this one. Next I have this sound. It comes later in the beat. Like a like a only verse type of thing. But I have a lot going on right here. So for this fresh air, I just boosted some highs. Then I use shaper box for the panning and make it pan from left to right. But I turned the mix down because I didn't want it to be because it was already not enough sounds. I didn't want that sound to like stand out too much and take away from the main melody. Then I took out took out some lows. That's really it for that and do some portal. I'm gonna play everything but portal and then show you after with the portal. Okay, this is what it sounds like with Portal. After you make your melody, if you're making your melody in like, in the same file as your drums, you might wanna like put it in a channel buzz and mix it. So you're gonna, Hold Control Shift, select all your melodies, all your sounds, then click the the track you want to bring it all to. Right click while you're holding Shift and Control, push Route Selecting, so Route Selected to this track only. So you're gonna make these sounds go to this track only. That way you can mix everything. But I don't do that for the bass. I keep the bass like you know staying on. This one, you see how the string is going to this, but this string is going over here. I don't make the I don't make the string go over here for the bass because it's gonna take away from when you're mixing this. It's gonna like take away from the bass a little bit. So for the melody, I use soothe to take off the harsh frequencies in my melody. Use reverb, a little reverb since it already had a lot of reverb in the other sounds. I didn't want it to add too much. I wanted to add it for like add reverb to make it more ambient together and I have two EQs I'm gonna explain that in a second I took out the mids like a lot of mids right here for the synth that was playing 
and this I boosted some high mids. Now this is very important. So when you're making a beat all in like one file with the melody and everything, you want even with loops. So basically you go right here, you go right, you go right here, push EQ, turn this off. So you're gonna basically take out all the bass, then scroll real scroll with down and take out all the bass right click on this create automation and then you're gonna basically take out you're gonna basically make it turn off right here so drag it down here right click right here bring this up and basically see how the uh there's no light green right here but the light green right here that means this is off and this is on so it's gonna turn on right here and make your base your 808 hit harder Okay, that's the for the melody. So you see on right here, the melody didn't go past 18. Usually I keep my my melody, my the whole melody, like from 18 to 21. Now onto the drums for my 808. You know, make sure that if your 808 isn't hitting hard enough, what I do personally, I use the EQ instead of the boost because the boost is like 1%. It already gives you too much bass, too much more bass. So I just trying to EQ up. That way I can control how much bass I want to keep in the 808 and how much I want to take out. You know? I put a soft clipper on my 808. I, that's literally all I do. Literally. Like that goes hand in hand with the master for my master at least. I got this in my kit, you know. DM me on Instagram and I'll send it to you, you know. What I put on my master, I put all this. Really, you can just put a soft clipper and limiter, but I keep I put all this because like it makes my I like low I like my beats to sound louder and hit harder, and it goes hand in hand with my my soft clipper. I, I literally just turn the threshold down and keep the post the same. It goes hand in hand with my stuff. This is what the 808 sounds like. Hi hat, I have two hi hats. So for my hi hat, for the main one, I keep I put fresh air to boost this high one. in the mids a little bit. So I EQ that. And yeah, this just sounds like for the other hi hat, because I have two. I already put none on this hi hat. I just turned it down more than the hi hat. But I'm gonna play the hi hat. You'll this this hi hat, you'll see how loud I keep keep it. Y'all see how it doesn't go past 15, like 15 or 18. It stays in between that range. You know, your 808, your 808s and your claps are supposed to be the loudest sounds. Not your hi-hats, that should not be loud. My advice is to keep 808s and claps the loudest. Your main clap or snare, that should be the loudest thing along with your 808s. That's really how a lot of keep my snares. This open hat be like in the middle between your hi hat and your clap. It should be like really right in the dead center. It shouldn't be too loud. It shouldn't be overpowering your clap or your 808, especially if you're like, like you have your open hat on notes where the clap is. You don't want the open hat to be like so loud. You can barely hear the clap. But this is what it sounds like. So basically, I don't I don't make that eight, that open hat go over 18. The second snare is not supposed to be loud at all. It's literally supposed to be a background sound. So we play it for y'all. See, you see how this the original clap is? It was at nine. 
the secondary clap should not go above 12 in my opinion i'm gonna say the key thing about having good beats and good mix is leveling you can have a great mix but not know how to, how to level your beats loving your leveling your beats is like one of the key things to like really like making beats like that's like the number one thing you should learn how to do because some producers will say oh no the engineer will level it and makes it no you have to at least at least make the engineer's job easier because not everybody's gonna work with you if you're just gonna be lazy and not do all the do the right mix you know you gotta like it takes time though i'm still learning things i know my mix isn't perfect no one is we're all learning you know improving every day but this is just how i mix my beats but i'll catch y'all in the next one guys i appreciate all the love though